interesting. I did not finish fifth after all. I finished uh, 12th after a penalty was assessed. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, was Ben in the right or Ben in the wrong? Good morning, you guys. We've got um, a full pit area today and I'm back I'm wearing my red suit today. Um, we were out here yesterday. This is the first day of a double header, but we came out yesterday rained all day end of the day got two or three practice sessions in uh rained overnight and it's sprinkling like the lightest sprinkling i just can feel it um uh, hitting me right now i don't think it's gonna rain today though um but we've got a full tent right now that's just over here because he's always over here uh, and then adam will be driving the 14 today the other 14 it's actually my old cart that i run at whiteland um and it got pretty messed up yesterday if we're being honest uh so we'll see if that impacts him today but uh yeah day one of a double header like i said it's a new track like we've never run this track before it's backwards but it's got some uh unique aspects to it so it'll be fun uh exciting but chaotic just in the practice sessions yesterday a lot of people don't know what's going on so uh I don't know man, we'll see how it goes and I know a lot of people weren't out here for practice yesterday and those who were out here probably got very limited amount so it'll be an interesting day. I will race today, I don't think I'm going to race tomorrow though, um, I'll just spend some time with Regan tomorrow but out here today and we'll see if we come home with a podium, a medal of some kind, I don't know, I at least get the pole, pole award like I always do so. rolling good i don't know if ben told you um but he's got a change did you tell him about the change to your cart no yeah so ben is following in his big brother's footsteps um you know he looks up to me a lot and and uh it shows so he is now running a hard axle <clears throat> excuse me and uh he's been fast at least compared to me i mean he's been right there with me you know just half a step behind probably so it's it you know he's getting there um no he was he was a little bit faster than me this morning um so i think we're good right but ben's been my barometer i haven't really ran with people and then we got uh what was it long lost stall from minnesota or uh, long lost stall brother from moose jaw saskatchewan moose jaw saskatchewan that's a fun word to say yeah so adam's out here and uh you know he's making good use of the equipment this is apparently how they race up in minnesota or practice actually he won he was trying to win practice yesterday i think he accomplished it no but uh i just had a I had a pretty big hit it's kind of strange how that all happened so cart was actually pretty good uh just some nerf bars got bent and whole body work broke easy stuff it's cool to have adam down here Adam, how does it feel to have me talking to a camera about you? Feels great. I felt weird right there, yeah, I feel talking so about it. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's fun. I think uh, this is like one of the hardest tracks to come in and and kind of like probably learn. Uh, at least for me, running this normally, but I, you know, Adam's taken right to it like a like a duck to water. Adam, we're losing your number panel here. I'll try to fix that um so yeah i don't know exactly what we're gonna do race footage wise um because there's gonna be a lot today with the pre-final and final so if we can we're gonna strap a camera onto adam's car see if he gets anything good no one wants to see that 
Well, we might. If you, you know, if something like yesterday, we have a repeat of yesterday, we all want to see that. So we'll keep you posted throughout the day. Good morning. And I am getting pelted by the last drops of rain from a storm system that just won't give up. But we've got blue sky. It's going to push this out of here. We're going to have a great day. And what a great day it is. Is there anything better than a go-karting doubleheader? Well, that's what we've got this weekend. And in tribute to that, we are at the go-karting doubleheader of go-kart tracks, Newcastle Motorsport Park. The Morning Walk with Dad. You know, last few segments I've been talking about speed and how I'm going down every rabbit hole to find it and as I was looking at some statistics from the last race I realized how subjective speed really is for example I had a good race Casey finished second in his and he was just over a second faster than I was on his fastest lap so I'm thinking hey I'm moving up I'm doing pretty good but then when you look at the total elapsed time of the race, Casey finished his in 1658. I finished mine in 1749. That's 49 seconds difference over 12 laps. That, that doesn't seem nearly as close as the one second. So it's all subjective. And I think the, the way you could look at it was on the grand scheme of mileage covered during that period of time. The track was about 1.1 miles and over the course of six, 17 minutes and 49 seconds, I figure the earth rotated on its axis at a thousand miles an hour and we went about 300 miles during that period of time. In addition to that, we were rotating around the sun at a rate of 67,000 miles, so we navigated another 20,100 miles. And the real kicker is, the sun and all its planets was rotating through the galaxy at a rate of 500,000 miles an hour, and we traveled about 150,000 miles. So if you want to look at it, during the time of my race, Casey would have traveled 170,000, 114.2 miles. I would have traveled 117,113.9 miles. That's a statistically insignificant difference. So, it's a wash. <laughs> Winning has its perks, and I don't know that personally, but Casey won last week, and a good friend of stall racing, Mike Bowkert, rewarded me with this tank top and as you can see there's a lot going on here Casey you want to dissect it for us yeah so there's there's layers to it here folks so you look at it first you see the cat and you see laser eyes rainbow laser eyes then you catch pizza right but then it all starts coming together this is a sloth holding a cat with laser eyes with the pizza he's got a unicorn horn He's got beets on, riding a friggin' llama, who's also got beets, and a birthday cake unicorn horn, on a Dorito in some kind of lightning strike universe. That's what we have there. So winning has its perks. We don't know who designed this, but we do know they're on medication. Here we are, day one of the doubleheader. Qualifying's over. This is a really unique track, running it backwards, running a couple, couple sections we've never done uh, backwards before it's really pretty cool a little bit of challenging hey maddie um so sorry maddie got here um qualifying was going fantastic right just right to plan last lap i got a the perfect gap and i'm closing in closing in on the straightaway and the cart in front of me makes a move and passes the cart passes a cart and they go too wide through the corner and so that gap just shrunk i had to ride the brakes just you know happens um and it's i was telling these guys that it's it's kind of a good thing when or it's a good day when when you're upset about fourth right that's where i qualified was fourth 
I just, I know I, I know I had a pull there. Like, it was just beautiful. Um, so, we'll take it, right? I mean, the cart's fast. We've got a pre-final next, and then we'll roll into the finals. And the starts could be really interesting. We'll see, you know, it's, it, it's a nice wide cut through, we call it, the first turn. And then, I'm talking to the camera, what you doing? Lightning McQueen's getting ready to race? Yeah. Who's gonna win? You think Lightning? I'll take Lightning too. That's my boy. I don't even remember what I was saying, but yeah, starts could be interesting. All right, so I start the pre-final in P5 here on the inside. Got uh, Landon to my left, Clay in front of him. Uh, then Keegan is on the outside there as well with Brendan in front of me. Um, and then a two-cycle racer. Um, who came and joined some of us four strokes out here. He actually was on pole and he was quick all weekend. He's in a Burrell as well. Um, we have a good start here. The front two in my line get to go up. I kind of have to fall back to fifth. I'm behind Clay here. Um, and it goes that way for a while. Then Clay gets a little sketchy here, a little sideways. Um, I'm able to take advantage of this. I had to break a little bit, but still get a good run uh, here on Clay. He was also geared probably just a fuzz too high. Um, so he's on the chip right there. I take the uh, take the move to the inside here through the cut through. I'm able to make it stick. It's tough to defend there if you're clay. Um, and then so it's just kind of, hey, let's go for the front guys here. I think this is also the white flag lap. So only have a few um, corners left to really make something happen. Luckily, they're going to fight through those corners. So um, before you know it, I'm back up with them in fourth right now with a chance to, uh, to finish the pre-final on the podium well preliminarily on the podium clay goes to the inside here not able to make it stick i got a good run from the outside line there um and then i'm trying to time up if i can get brendan here not high speed right hand corner take a look but i'm not able to carry in a momentum from taking that look and then right here i lose focus for a second because i'm trying to play uh, uh the game of gearing right if i could get him or not just lost focus for a second so uh drop back a fuzz but uh, ultimately, it wouldn't matter because we're coming up here on the last few corners and nothing happened that impacted my finishing position. Um, good race finishing P4 there. It looks like he has to like pop his shoulder out of the pocket to take that thing off. Every time. Okay, here we go. Highlights from a pre-final final day. This is my best part. Uh, support of the crew. Crew, uh, notice the knuckle bumps. I've got that down to a science. Appreciate the support of Ben and uh, Regan and everybody else there. And here we're getting ready for the start. I'm following Amber. Unfortunately, Amber came back my way rather than uh, me heading up her way for qualifications. Amber's usually running up front. And, uh, I think they ran into a, a qualifying issue, and so. We're running this track and going into the cut through backwards. I think they said it's the first time we've ran this track and, and people get a little aggressive here. There's a spin and uh, I managed to avoid it. And then Todd tries to uh, muscle up. He's a bodybuilding firefighter from Louisville and uh, the old geriatric guy said no way there. Following Tony here, uh, heading into um, a little straight away and he drops a wheel and I didn't have a great exit on that corner probably following him and uh, uh, wish I'd have had a little bit more run there because the the rest of the highlights of this pre-final you'll see I pretty much follow the 610. Tony's done a great job his arm goes up here I'm not sure what's going on and then you can see there's a tire uh, that had come off of a cart it actually landed in Steve Knight's cart and he tossed it out and everybody else was a able to avoid it but uh, Todd here he's gonna try again you know he's got youth on his side but I'm not having any part of it uh, I don't know if he flipped me off or waved to me there but uh, anyway Todd and, and Tony have a lot of fun with them at the track and and they just started you know last year I couldn't be prouder of the progress they've made good people and they're, they're really developing into good racers and um, it's a lot of fun to go to the track and see those guys and also race with them so here, you know, just heading, I think we're we're heading into the final lap, and 
and I uh, just couldn't quite get to Tony. The cart wasn't great, um, but the driver was probably more to blame than anything else. All right, Adam, so you're starting in a question mark spot, right? We don't know yet where, where you start, but how are you feeling for this race? I'm feeling okay. Have you not been talking enough to Ben? His confidence hasn't rubbed off on you? Not at all. Oh, man. You need to talk more to Ben. Because you'd say you'd take it right to the front. Now, so, Adam's looked pretty good. I mean, he's getting used to a whole new cart. He's never driven before. And, of course, a new, new track layout. So, I think he's done pretty well. And I really hope he doesn't let me down. Here's my pre-final. I'm starting fourth. I think I mentioned it in the video, but I was actually disappointed with fourth because the cart was just that good. I mean, I knew there was pole speed there. Uh, qualifying just didn't work out, but whatever. It's fourth. It's still good. So get off to a good, clean start here. Running backwards on this configuration into the cut through, then into the Monza backwards. So this was all new. It was pretty wild. So here, uh, going side by side with Levi, right behind Evan, kind of sort things out single file it here so I fell into third Riley gets a run and I was geared lower than most of the guys and so I was still able to get a run there on Evan and move into second and then here on the last lap I was geared a little bit lower than than Riley here who's in first and I've got his draft so I suck up to him and poked my nose in there. I'm glad he had his head on a swivel. Um, and so he was on the outside there. Kind of gives him a nice little over-under maneuver here to pull up alongside me for the inside of this corner. And we go too wide. Props to Riley. We uh, able to make it through there, which is not an easy corner. I mean, that was a fast corner. And go too wide through there. Held him off and took the win in a pre-final, which unfortunately doesn't mean anything. Woohoo! That was the way to start it. I'll take it. Uh huh. Look at that. Looking like more stickers. Good stickers so well, far. Let's see. Knock let's on wood. One more than that. Mm hmm. All right, so here I am behind uh, our boy Pony in a Burrell. Uh, the guy in front of me, I, I just nicknamed Pony. Um, I made that, not him. Uh, so I'll call him Pony. But he was in a Burrell, the two stroke kid, very fast. Uh, we were talking before this that hey one of us needs to get on the podium here or one of us needs to be on the top step of the podium here um, unfortunately rocky start as the the inside lane here gets a great jump i mean just great like you can actually see that fourth cart there the 15 landon was behind me to start and he jumped over into that that um, low lane because it was so fast off the start so uh, myself and pony get relegated back to fifth and sixth after starting uh, the first two rows on the outside just didn't have a run um, but I'm going to follow him and, and, you know, push him to the front as best I can. So anywhere he goes, I'm going to try to complete that move with him. Um, and right here is a good example of that. He goes low on landing here. Uh, I'm going to follow him through. Might have been a little contact, maybe not. Hard to tell. Um, but we do end up getting around landing there. And we're going to push up against the front guy, so I'm on his bumper. Uh, unfortunately, got unsettled there. Just got a bump at, a, a, at the wrong time, honestly. Just unlucky. So I got a little unsettled. Lose him a little bit. Um, and from that, the guy behind me uh, in the 611, uh, he goes to the inside here. He's got position to make this pass. Um, all he needs to do is complete it. He gets a little low into the grass, pushes me out wide. Not exactly the cleanest pass you'll see, but that's what bugs me, right? The, what are you doing? Well, I'm defending my position, and he couldn't make a clean pass, and somehow he's upset at me for that. The old helmet tap, let's go, get to the front. Yeah, I just didn't feel comfortable around this guy. He wasn't particularly fast most of the weekend, and I, you'll see here just why I didn't feel comfortable. He's, he's a little loose, um, and so from that I'm trying to take advantage. Got a good inside line. Um, what felt like to me was I was driven into a little bit, and then he also seems like drives off on his own accord, but um, yeah, right, you know, Feel free to let me know what you guys think. Uh, I actually did get assessed a penalty from that, so I wind up finishing fifth, but it moved me back to 12th. Uh, I think that's pretty BS, and I told that to the track owners, and they were like, hey, you know, we get it. I also told them I don't really care. I'm not racing for points, so I'm not real pissed about it, but 
Yeah, 611 seemed to be having a lot of issues with a lot of people this weekend. I think he's supposed to be pretty good down south, pretty fast guy down south. He seemed pretty mid-pack to me from the guys that we normally race with. But, um, yeah, to end the race here, this is the last lap, and Josh and I uh, are just battling out. He had a couple really good looks. So I was able to uh, maintain the position so far. Um, we got just a few turns left here, uh, and this is when I knew I kind of had it. This is the last real time for him to pass me, and he was a little bit far off, so I just gave him a good thumbs up, you know, good race, um, albeit a little bit frustrating. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments if, if I'm in the wrong or I'm in the right. You know, I finished fifth, but I was put back to 12th because the guy go, drove off track. So let me know what you guys think. I obviously have my decision. So today, coming to find out I was assessed a penalty for yesterday's race, um, of all people, uh, 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 the guy who I finished right in front of yesterday, his dad had told me about it. He said that he, I got penalized seven spots for avoidable contact yesterday. Um, an incident that happened coming out of green corner into a kind of right, banked right, uh, not banked right here, uh, kind of right hand sweeping corner. Uh, uh, my point of view was I was about halfway up on the guy. Um, I was not really given much of any room. Um, and it's kind of one of those classic like, whose corner is it right I get that and I'm certainly to take some blame but penalize seven spots for um, what I believe the uh, other driver simply drove off track and if you look at the video I think it's relatively clear I'm spewing bias and influencing your opinion go watch the video a few times get your own opinion uh, my thoughts are he was driven off track on his own accord there was contact I'm never gonna say that I under no circumstance drove into the driver um, but there was certainly contact. And then for whatever reason, I don't know if there was just unsettling on the his cart or the wheel or what, but it seems to be a somewhat steep turn to the left, which veered him off track. Uh, anyway, I got penalized seven spots for it. Just talked to the race director, super understanding. The uh, Actually the corner worker, um, there's somebody who was watching that and had great recollection of what happened. He thought that I had driven into the driver and that's why a penalty was assessed. I disagree because I've, can't recall a time I've ever driven into somebody outside of, you know, maybe Casey at like Fast Times or K1. Um, but regardless, I highly doubt the penalty gets overturned. Uh, I believe what turned to be, what was a racing incident got penalized, but uh, feel free to call me out if I'm wrong. And if I, you know, screwed him over, like, let me know. I'm, I make mistakes, we all do. So, uh, but it, interesting, I did not finish fifth after all. I finished uh, 12th after a penalty was assessed. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, was Ben in the right or Ben in the wrong? And uh, yeah, look forward to the discussion. You gotta chomp it hard. It's chewy. Nice. Mmm, that's yummy in it. That's it. You look way cuter than I do. Yeah, you do. And bigger piece. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Good. Lion on the savannah tearing into an animal. Oh, remember we read Lion King yesterday, didn't we? So now we're heading into the final. And uh, you can see here that if you look closely over to the left, Tony's actually got more than just a backside. You can see he's got a right side as well. Uh, after the pre final, you may have wondered. Heading into the cut through here, and uh, something a little different for the 34 cart. Uh, on the start, I actually see an opening and I'm going for it. And Brian Berger spun. I almost got went over there, uh, uh, head bounced, and uh, knew I hit pretty hard. And so for the for the better part of this lap, by the time I get going, I'm in last, and and just had been a string of bad luck. And about the time I thought uh, maybe everything was okay, here at the end of the first lap, trying to make lemonade out of lemons and. Uh, um, head into the cut through and and sure enough I'd hit hit uh, Brian hard enough that uh, uh, sheared the uh, uh, actually didn't shear anything but the rear tire came off and that end of the day had a had a lot of time to watch the race from out there just around the cut through so it was a wild ride but um, you know that's the way it goes
after dad's race here in the pits, dad's wheel, you know, came off. And so uh, the hub, wheel, everything came off. Everything was intact with the hub. I think with the contact, this was up like right here. So I somehow, when he hit on the outside of the tire, some part of that contact brought everything this way. And he ended up just losing it. And you can see right here got kind of wallered out. And so I'm just now trying to uh, see if we can still use this hub. But it chewed up, chewed into the axle some, and, and then in here got all gnarled up. So just taking uh, a little brake clean and uh, sandpaper to it. Let's see if we can fix her up. Yeah, Finley. Yeah, Finley. You ate a whole chicken leg? Way to go! Adam's final is done. Adam, give me your thoughts. The best mid-pack finish you've ever seen. There you go. A lot of racing. He did a lot of racing. One point, lost three spots and made them back up, and it was fun to watch. And then for me, my final is coming up. Uh, I'll be starting uh, first after winning the pre-final, which means absolutely nothing other than getting to start first, and I'll take it, but this is where it really matters, so. Um, AM29, that ghost racing engine over there just it's there right the guy in the seat just has to do it now um we got 10 lap final carts felt great all weekend so i just need to i need to seal the deal here So here I am starting first in the final and I was trying to slow it down just a little bit because the outside line had jumped a little bit just with some pushing but it really still didn't matter um, because right there I dropped my wheel and that just puts me back in second. Just bad bad positioning by my part. I owned that corner and I didn't, didn't really own it. So here following Riley I had a bad corner and the 611 gets a run on me here and you're gonna see him pat his head a couple things about this just annoy me one the like how hard it was like cut like come on yeah well, obviously you're gonna push me um, and he was slower than me right like he was holding me up lap after lap except he was geared super low so it's hard to pass it the straight away so I finally had the opportunity here he threw it in too deep I was not gonna push him and pass him here Oh, give me a little tap there, huh? Uh, your turn to push, buddy. So in second here with two laps to go, and Riley and myself had pushed away to a decent size lead, right? So it was just two-cart battle. I, with hindsight, make this move too early, and I just did not really own that corner like I should have. Riley drove great. I mean, he got a great run on the outside and kept the momentum, and so... I couldn't complete it by this point this is the last lap the rest of the pack has caught up with me and so I thought this was probably the best opportunity to make my move and I had it complete until right there he just happened to hook my bumper he was trying to fall in line I think but he hooked my bumper stalled my momentum and kind of boosted his own then you saw it there he had the inside line the guys pushed him so I went from first back to fourth running down the straightaway here next to, to Ryan and I tried to do an over-under. Uh, unfortunately, I'm back on the outside for this corner. And Levi just comes in too hot. I mean, I was talking about hot. I was fired up. I mean, I've never been so so angry. I mean, it was just, it was unnecessary. It was just, frankly, it was a stupid move. And I mean, I, I talked to Riley, or Riley, I talked to Levi about it. And, you know, it's water under the bridge. We're good. But, I mean, at the time, I was so upset. I mean, just... I went from podium contention to 15th. You want to talk about it yet? No, 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 no. Okay. Rob and Sarah, Rob's wife, and their boys came down to play with Finley, so they're all scooting. I got some obligations. But yeah, they're out here scooting. So 
It's been a number of hours since uh, the end of my race, and uh, I was pretty, I was pretty hot afterwards. Um, it just, man, it sucks, right? I'm just very competitive, and it just sucks to go from a good finish to. I just had the. I was just finally able to look at the results. I finished 15th. So, luckily we get three drops, but before this race, I was leading the championship. So I, I don't know what this will do, but we get we get three drops throughout the year. So hopefully this will be one of them. Um, I had the chance to talk to Levi, and you know, obviously I was I was pissed at Levi, but. I've got all the time in the world for Levi. Great kid, right? And so we we talked, and yeah, he he felt bad, and that made me feel bad that he felt bad. It's I, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't, but I do. I just I like Levi, and I don't like that he felt bad. Um, so I appreciate that. That I know it wasn't intentional. It's racing. We're all going for that position, and it's going to happen. So. All, you know, it's water under the bridge. Move on till tomorrow. And that's the beauty of the double header. We're going to wake up and do this all again tomorrow. And we're out here racing go-karts. So, like, this is the dream, you know? This is awesome. Even though it kind of sucked, right? The result sucked, and it, does, it doesn't sit well, right? But it's still incredible. So, very happy overall been fun so far glad Adam was able to come out actually I have no idea where Adam went but glad he's been out here Ben raced today although I don't think he's gonna race tomorrow Ben logic but dad did well until he didn't so it was fun so uh, we forgot to do the uh, helmet ceremony yesterday and so we're gonna do it with the crew that's still here today what do you get a lion is it a good lion or bad lion Bad oh, it's a bad lion, huh? Yeah, he okay. found the meanest looking one. Okay. Really okay. Is did Dad do a good job or bad job yesterday? Good. A good job? Okay. Hold on, Finley. I, Put think, it, I think we're being skewed. <laughs> yeah, that is influencing this your This is opinion. like yeah. Yeah. Wait, magic. It's a bad. Oh, yeah. okay. Good job, buddy. Okay. Then put it on this side. Okay. Regan. Was Regan. Huh? <laughs> yep, right there in the middle. You've nothing. been around Ben too long. Um, Good job, little fella. I picked out what looks like a mosquito because I Ooh, found yesterday's race a bit that's annoying that's for how it mosquito. ended. But also, I think you made your move too soon and you let up your gap. So that was also a mosquito move. No, put it right there. Yeah, I put it right there next year's. <laughs> Can't see I'm going right in the middle. You had no, no, no. There's things. no middle. You there's had no some middle. Good things. You had some bad. It's good things. or bad, Dad. What is it? But in the end, the you ended up uh, just like a tornado. You lost it all. <laughs> He's breaking the rules. All right. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with birds, but they're really stupid. Specifically, an ostrich. I couldn't find an ostrich, but a flamingo's right in the ballpark. So Casey gets a flamingo, and he knows why. But after yesterday's race, specifically the last two laps, he's gonna take a flamingo. This is coming from a guy that got a seven spot penalty for doing nothing wrong. Tiger. Is that for Aunt Maddie? Right? Oh, that's going to go on your shirt? Where should we put it? No, no. Well, he already put, he already put yeah, his he already on. It's on him. Or You're the little that? cub. Or you can put it on Dead Day's shirt. Okay, mine's a series of stickers. Okay, we got Regan up next. A series? A series. Okay. Yeah, so it started off good, right? That's is this bad. Illegal? That's bad. This is bad. That's bad. Okay. <laughs> and then it just, you know, can, got neutral, and, and, and then it got yeah, bad. Can I wow. Crashing into the tornado. My <laughs> gosh. Man, Regan. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> yeah, but you want to put it on me? It was fine. Thanks, buddy. Which one should I do? Oh, go pick you out one. Okay. Okay. We got a lion. Another, Another lion. lion. Yep, is a representation of your leadership skills because got, even though it was a, a really too, rough, bad right situation, there. you were a good example my, my right for this little guy mad. and for a lot of others out He's on the mad. course who are, don't aren't good examples. Mama, so this goes Mama. on the good side for okay. the way you handled yourself in that situation. Well, thank you. Well done. Mama. Thank you. Mama, I, what, got, I got one too. 
Is that it? That was it. Okay, and there we have it. Is that yours? Oh, is that puppy going on Picked up more bad ones. Regan hit me especially hard. Didn't expect that. So Sarah's not here today. And since Adam was here yesterday, uh, he's going to do one in her place. What we got, Adam? So I got a donkey. Okay. Because you look great at first, like a cute little donkey, but then you look like a jackass. <laughs> okay, piling on. There we go. Look at that.